No, this is not your normal update video. Over the past week, I've been talking to the developers of SFS about this new water update, and I know things that I'm not even allowed to tell you guys. However, I did get permission to talk about everything I'm about to discuss in this video. This includes answering the ultimate questions if engines do or don't work underwater, live development footage, part density charts, new file editing, density calculations, game optimizations, and many more. So let's get right into it. Let's first talk about the screenshot of the file editing. Now, I know there's a lot here, but let's just shift our attention to the top part. Starting with the sand, the floor, shallow, and deep, these are color values that you can change in the file editing, and it changes its corresponding locations on the planet. Now, the sand represents the areas of the beaches, shown here. The floor represents the bottom of the terrain underneath the water, and the shallow and deep parts are kind of self-explanatory. They represent the shallow parts of the ocean and the deep parts of the ocean. Going back to the JSON file, I don't know what lower terrain and ocean depth mean, but I do know exactly what the ocean mask texture is. Basically, you can take a black and white image, feed it into the game files, and the game will automatically make a map of the ocean based on the black and white parts of the image. And you can do this with any image you want. Now let's talk about the game calculations and the game optimizations that are being applied in this update. And no need to worry, I'm going to make this so simple that literally anyone can understand it. As you can see in this image here, the red triangles are the game's way of calculating the surface area. The underwater area of each part can be multiplied by its own buoyancy to get the force that the water is applying to each part. This calculation will ultimately determine if the rocket's gonna sink or if it's going to float. Now that I've talked about the water forces, let's talk about the buoyancy charts and the buoyancies of a few of the parts. Now I have this chart here, but I was told to not share it yet because the numbers aren't set in stone. However, I can tell you that engines are going to sink really rapidly because their buoyancy level is really low, whereas the fuel tanks have a mid buoyancy level. However, ultimately it is above the buoyancy of the water. Last but not least, we have the fairings and nose cones, which have a really high buoyancy level and they float really well. Now we do have to answer one last question and that is if engines work underwater. And the answer, well, well no one really knows.